Alrighty guys, so this may be a short video today. I'm feeling a little under the weather today, but what can you do? Um, but where are we? In another battlefield as King's Mountain. <laughs> yeah, a different battlefield than King's Mountain. We're actually at the Battle of Cowpens, South Carolina, near uh, Blacksburg, South Carolina. If any of you guys are movie fans, if you remember the Mel Gibson movie, The Patriot, the final battle that was fought where the Colonials beat the Charlton's and, uh, or the Dragoons, I guess, per se, and, uh, and won, won the battle, which ultimately, um, you know, led towards Yorktown and the end of the war. Oh, yeah, look at that. You see that? You know what that is? That's actually, um, a line there. A line? A so line. So this right here is a trench where they used to fight. Pretty cool. Good find there. That was a really good find. Look at that. Right there, guys. Right here on the side of the trail. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. But anyway, where the last battle was fought in the movie The Patriot, that is where we are at today. So, loosely inspired by the movie. But, um, the movie was loosely inspired, I guess, by this battle. But this is ultimately the battle that represented. A lot of it was true. Um, a lot of it was not. Uh, Mel Gibson adds some flair to it, per se, but, um, but that's where we're at. So we're out doing a Junior Ranger project here, another national park. So pretty cool. And over there is where they fought. <laughs> yeah, where they fought, right out here in this big open field. So, so we're walking up on it now. Training, they're training, and then right over there, uh, the other team saw them. So they started the other team. Them and started right. Yeah, something like that. Here's one of the maps here, which you guys can see here. Here's the field here, right down there's the rise where the colonials hid. Uh, and the red coats came down through this way and slowly marched on them. And then uh, you know, right over this rise was where the trap was set, and uh, they turned and beat them, defeated them. Um, one of the cool things about this battle guys, that I found really interesting is yeah, is that they they took more than 800. Uh, Redcoats prisoner at the end of this battle and only 20 colonials were lost in this battle uh, Which I found that quite remarkable People quite amazing I surrender I surrender you're right It's pretty cool Obviously this is big uh, wide and open out here at that point not as many trees uh, well, man, I couldn't imagine. This is really neat. So pretty cool. Yeah. You know when they take this picture, Josiah? This is pretty cool. The Washington Light Infantry Monument of Charleston, South Carolina. Pretty neat. Right here in the middle. Pretty cool. We heard there are turkeys out here, so we're going to try to find some turkeys. We're actually playing animal bingo here. If you look at this. So pretty cool. So we're trying to find different animals out here. So we've already found a squirrel and an ant. And uh, we heard where the turkeys are. So we're going to go try to find some turkeys here in a minute. Pretty neat. Looky here, guys. We found the turkeys. There they are right there. Wild turkeys. Check that out. Pretty cool. All right, look what we found, guys. Robert Scruggs house. Check this out. Walk down here. Look at this. Really old house here. Built about 50 years after the battle was fought here. This battle was fought 1781. Um, but kind of gives you guys a little bit of an idea of the pioneer lifestyle out here. So we had a really cool project here. Let me flip to it. It's right here in the back. Oh, not there. Let me get to it. This was a cool project. I really enjoyed this one here. This one, uh, let's see, where did they go? Oh, right here. So this is about the different uh, amenities that we have today versus what they had back then that we had to match up. That was pretty cool. I enjoyed that one. So he got pretty much most of them right. So I like the email and text message ones. So imagine if you had, say, like three weeks to respond to a message versus expecting to respond back right away. That's pretty cool. I like that idea. Pretty neat. So, oh, this one was a good one here too. TV and radio entertainment. So, YouTube, 
Then we couldn't find the TV over the fireplace to watch YouTube on, on our Roku device, or in Disney Junior, or Netflix, or any of that stuff. And what did you have to do instead? Singing and playing games on the porch. And yeah, the, here's what they did long back ago. Hey, little Nintendo pinball chain. That's exactly the way that that's exactly the way they had to do that. You're absolutely right. So love it. So much fun. All right, let's keep on hiking a little bit. No. <laughs> yeah, come on, let's go, guys. They had to go like this on the porch. Yeah, is that where they took their afternoon naps? Right here yeah. on the porch. Yeah. Pretty cool. All right, we're going to keep on uh, trudging forward here. So pretty cool. Here's another perspective here. You guys can see this is on the bottom end of the battlefield here. So pretty neat. You can see down there's the wall down there where they hid. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. So it's really cool. This is actually my first time ever being out here. I knew I knew of this place. And uh, I've always known of this place growing up here in North Carolina. But uh, this was really neat. This is my first time ever being out here. So I've seen the movie a thousand times over. But this is my first time actually coming out here and checking it out myself. So pretty cool. Pretty neat. <laughs> Oh no, brother against brother. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Average height of a colonial, five feet five inches. So you go. Back in the day, I was just a tad bit. Okay, get that down for you. Back in the day, I was just a tad bit taller than the average person, believe it or not. Pretty cool, huh? Wonder why people grow taller now. Oh, shine the leg. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, so we have made it out of the battlefield. I guess we're still technically on the battlefield. But we are headed back to the visitor center here. And we are going to finish this up and see if we did our task to get a Junior Ranger badge or not. I think we did. And, uh, and head on for the day. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. But thanks for watching, guys. Please uh, hit that notification bell up in the corner and uh, subscribe to our channel. Ding, give us a ding, 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 there you go, ding, 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 and uh, you know, give us a thumbs up on the videos. So we enjoy doing these, and uh, we try to get as many of these adventures out as we can. So, and you know, once again, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you later. Well, this is important. Okay, very important. Once you repeat it. You learn it, you live it, you love it. This oath runs your life. There is no laughing, no smiling, no smirking, no nothing. I want you stone faced like a statue as you repeat this. So if you start laughing, I need to restart it again. So repeat after me. I, I say your name. Central. I'm proud, I'm proud to be. To be. A junior ranger. junior ranger. I will explore our world. I will explore our world. And the nature. And the nature. And history. And history. It has to offer. It has to offer. As a junior ranger. As a junior ranger. I will brush my teeth. I will brush my teeth. And comb my hair. And comb my hair. Eat my vegetables. Eat my vegetables. And when I start school, I will do my homework. I'll do my homework. I will go to bed when told. I'll go to bed when I'm told. I will read a good book at night. I'll read a good book at night. And since I am now a sworn junior ranger. As I swore a junior ranger. When Ranger Roman calls me to come to work. When Ranger call comes me, tells me to come to work. I will come to this desk and do his job. I'll come to this desk. Fist pump. Good job, sir. <laughs> good job. That's awesome. That's a good one. You are I like that one. Ask. On the back portion here is a big block. We do have a Junior Ranger stamp over there. Sweet. So you can stamp your book if you wish to. And don't leave yet. The most important thing. What you strive for is this right here. You see that? You have earned it, sir. There you go. I salute you. It's awesome. Salute them back. You gotta lead them back. <laughs> Where are you running to? <laughs> Alright, good gear stamp.